really stinky in here. <laughs> I just think people should get the full experience. Mm. Do you want to say like where we are? Oh, we're at the Heineken experience. In the brewery stinky place. Mm. This is what it looks like inside a giant brewing vat. I like the way it sounds. Echo. I'm learning nothing. <laughs> this is Matt trying wort. How's that? Is it gross? It looks gross. gross. It tastes, uh... Let me taste yours. <laughs> tastes a lot like barley. <laughs> well, that's what it is. <laughs> it's the water and the barley mixed together, so it's really a soup. It's just water and barley? Drink. Yeah. Nothing added, just water mm. and barley, so it's... I mean, it's surreal. It smells like a stable in here. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> why is there a stable in the brewery? Oh dear. Oh. Matt doesn't know how to use the revolving net. Oh. Matthew. I. Ooh. I missed uh, the part where I get off. So this is why it smells like a stable. <laughs> I thought it was really bad beer. Oh, oh I'm the, I'm the Heineken horse. I should explain this. Explain this. The idea is that the, the bottles can stack together so they can be used to build houses like this. Look at this. It's brilliant. You just drink a whole bunch of beer. Oh, I mean, you're supposed to be recycled. I mean, you do this with other bottles, and it doesn't work nearly as well. Yeah, it's something that's done. This is just... It's actually pretty cool. I'll straighten the glass. Close the tap, put down the glass, and remove excess foam. Splendid job, old chap. You're British, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't that exciting. Oh. This is the most ridiculous dishwasher I've ever seen. <laughs> no. <laughs> taste a beer or how we supposed to drink a beer well um, it's almost similar like tasting wine only we have one advantage we're not going to spit it out we're going to swallow it so that's good well before we're going to drink the beer we're going to look at the brightness and the color of the beer well you all can see the beer is very bright but what kind of color do we see <laughs> golden color that's what we like to hear golden color well the beer gets its yellow golden amber whatever you think it is color from the party well, we roast the bar Okay, uh, after looking at the color, we're gonna look underneath the foam head. Well, what can you tell me if you're looking underneath the foam? Carbon dioxide, very important for the beer because it keeps the beer fresh. And of course, you want a fresh beer. The bubbles are rising to the surface, but they're stuck underneath the foam head. We're not cheap Dutch people giving you less beer. In England, they give you beer like this, but we have a good foam head on top to keep the beer fresh, to keep the bubbles inside and keeps the oxygen around us outside of the beer. If the after looking, we're going to smell the beer. So, oh, swirl the beer a little bit around, and then smell the beer. Okay. Last but not least, of course, we're going to taste the beer. Very important for tasting the beer is that you taste, uh, that you take big sips. It's very important. 
and you only have to drink the golden liquid of the beer, the sweet part, and not the bitter part on top of it. So you have to tilt your head a little bit back, bring your glass to your mouth, and not your mouth to your glass, because if you drink it like this, you're only slurping off the, the foam head, so you don't want that. <laughs> but a very important sound at the end. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Yes. Well, if it's right, you can taste the sweetness on the tip of your tongue and the bitterness in the back of your tongue. So that's why you have to swirl the beer a little bit around because the two tastes will come together. Right. Last but not least, I want to say cheers in Dutch. Any idea? Let's go on. No. <laughs> it's also not cheers. Prost. Prost, exactly. Prost to you. <laughs> Prost if you stay here. Prost to you. Prost to all of you guys. Yes. Enjoy the beers, guys. Thank you.